Hey you two, hope you had a really lovely weekend. Here is your English task for Monday. Your starter for today's lesson is looking at the O split digraph sound that was listed on your weekly learning grid for your spellings for this week. So as we can see with the O sound, there are lots of different ways we can make the O. We're looking at the split O today, but you can also use an O and an A, for example, in the word boat. This sometimes makes an L sound, but alternatively, it sometimes makes an O sound, for example, in the word follow. And also the OE can also make an O sound, for example, in the word toe. So we're looking at this split O sound today. I have got some pictures here down the side, four pictures, and I would like you to have a go. I'm going to pause the video, or you can pause the video in a moment, and I would like you to have a go at sounding out these four pictures here and seeing if you can have a go at writing them on your piece of paper and see if you can spell them correctly. So we've got bone, so bone, rope, smoke and globe. So pause the video here. Well done for having a really good go. Let's go on and check some of these spellings. So the first one is bone. So if we sound it out, we've got the, the split, o sound, and then the consonant that goes in the middle, the n, bone, bone. Next word we have got is rope. So brr, o, p, rope, rope. Next picture is smoke so a bit of a tricky one and that sm sound at the beginning is a s and a m sm o k smoke and then the last one globe again at the beginning that gl sound we've got two sounds there g l o b globe well done on those spellings today's challenge sheet is in two parts really Entry level and challenge one are all to do with capital letters and full stops and using correct punctuation in a sentence. And then challenge two moves on to using conjunctions for the second part. So first of all, we will go on to look at a, a video with capital letters and full stops. So I will show the video now and then we will move on to completing the entry level and challenge one. The pirate looked for land. The pirate looked for land. This is a sentence. A sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete idea and includes a verb. It tells you something, asks you something, or tells you to do something. A sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop, a question mark, or an exclamation mark. This sentence ends with a full stop. We use a full stop to show that the sentence is finished. Let's look at some more sentences with capital letters at the beginning and full stops at the end. The pirate ship sailed through the water. The flags on the pirate ship blew in the wind. Pirate Pete looked through his telescope. What sentences can you think of? Pirates like treasure. A pirate ship sailed across the sea. The pirates wore an eye patch. These sentences need punctuation. A pirate sailed to an island. She looked for treasure. 
Add the capital letters and full stops to make two sentences. A pirate sailed to an island. She looked for treasure. When we're writing, we use a capital letter to start the sentence and a full stop to show the sentence is finished. You've been learning how to punctuate sentences with capital letters and full stops. Hope you enjoyed that video and it should be really helpful for your activity today with capital letters and full stops. Don't forget also alternative reasons why you may need a capital letter as well as the start of a sentence. You also need capital letters for names. So for example, in my marshmallow story last week, the little boy in my story was called Sam. So I needed a capital letter for his name. Or if I were to say Mrs. Watson, they would also need capital letters. We also need capital letters for days of the week or months of the year. And also for names of places. So for example, if I were to say Bournemouth or England, they also need capital letters, even if they are in the middle of a sentence. For the entry level task today, to tick the sentences which are punctuated correctly to have the correct capital letters and full stops. And it says here, the boy walked to the shop on Tuesday. He spent two pounds. So there's two sentences there and it's exactly the same bit of writing four times. As you can see, some of the sentences are missing the capital letters and the full stops. So you need to read all four of those options and you need to tick down the side here which box you think has the correctly punctuated sentence with the correct capital letters and full stops. I always suggest reading all four options first before you decide which you are going to tick. Challenge one says, can you rewrite? So you've got two lines here to rewrite it. Can you rewrite the following sentences using the correct punctuation? So we have another two sentences here, but there are no capital letters and full stops here. So you need to listen carefully for where that pause is that you need your full stops. And you also need to add in any capital letters for the starts of sentences or perhaps any names, days, months, places, anything like that. So let me read it to you. It says Ella was bored. She decided to play a game with her baby brother, Jack. So on these two lines here, you need to rewrite that, those, those sentences with your capital letters and full stops. I'll read it to you one more time if you're struggling with the, the, thing, the full stop, sorry. Ella was bored. She decided to play a game with her baby brother, Jack. So rewriting them there with your correct capital letters and full stops. I'm now going to move on to showing you a conjunctions video for your next activity that you're doing, your challenge two. So I will go on to play this video now. Conjunctions connect two or more words, clauses or sentences together. Words like and, but, because. work a bit like the way this chain connects the gate to the fence. The fence keeps the tiger on one side and everyone else on the other side. And is a conjunction. It connects the two clauses together. Take these two clauses. Ahmed often visits the zoo. He can pet the animals. He can link them with a conjunction. Ahmed often visits the zoo, so he can pet the animals. So is the conjunction connecting Ahmed often visits the zoo to he can pet the animals. We can have more than one conjunction to connect multiple words, clauses and sentences. Ahmed pets the llamas and the bunnies, but not the tiger because the tiger is unfriendly. Ahmed was having a lovely day at the zoo until the chain came loose. Until is a conjunction connecting Ahmed was having a lovely day to the chain came loose. So remember, conjunctions connect two or more words, clauses or sentences together. Oh dear.
hopefully you enjoyed that video and it was useful for you. Challenge two for today on your challenge sheet says use the conjunction but that we've just been learning about in three sentences of your own. For example here it says it was raining outside but Matt still went to the park. So even though it was raining he still went to the park. So you have got three lines here for you to write your three sentences using the conjunction but. I'll go on to show you a couple of examples of my own before you have a go yourself. Okay, so my first sentence with but is going to be I was feeling I was feeling very oh we know that E sound is a Y. I was feeling very hungry, but the fridge was empty. The next sentence is going to be Kelly loves to drink, drink delicious. We've got the soft C there that makes this sound. Kelly loves to drink delicious juice, but, but. She hates milk. So let me read my sentences back. I was feeling very hungry, but the fridge was empty. Cap to letter full stop. Kelly loves to drink delicious juice, but she hates milk. And then I'm just going to underline my conjunctions there. Just to recap then, your challenge sheet for today is this activity. Your first activity was the starter doing the sentences with the O sound. And then when you move on to the challenge sheet, you've got entry level, which is ticking the correctly punctuated sentence, rewriting the sentence here with all the correct capital letters and full stops, and challenge two, moving on to the conjunction but and writing three of your own sentences. Hope you will get on really well with your challenge task for today. As always, we love to see your work, so please do send it in to us at the usual address and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye!